What is up everybody? Scrapehog.com here. In this video, I'm going to briefly go over how to build your own GSA site lists. Now, the sites that come preloaded into GSA Search Engine Ranker are good, but if you really want to use this tool to its full potential, I would recommend building your own site lists. So let's get started. Head on over to Options, Advanced, Tools, search online for URLs. Now we could use GSA's search scraper, but I find that Scrapebox is a more effective tool at finding more sites to post to, so we're just going to be using GSA's predefined footprints. So let's say you are looking for a wiki site to post to. You're looking for a wiki list. You'd go add all from wiki. There we go. Copy all of these footprints. open up a new text document paste them in I'm going to save mine as merge exit out of this for now now go on over to scrapebox of course you're already gonna have your keywords in use the keyword scraper to get as many keywords as possible of course use proxies and use Yahoo and Bing for this video, I am not going to use proxies or Yahoo and Bing because I'm not going to search the entire list. So up in the harvester settings, click on custom footprint, click the big M, which is the merge button. Go on over to that merge file you just created and load it in. That 15 keywords now turned into 2,115 and that's because it adds every single footprint we got from GSA before every single keyword that we have start harvesting I'm not gonna let this whole list run through one because my IP will be banned from Google and two because I do not think you guys wanna watch over 2000 links get or 2000 keywords get harvested so I'm going to stop it here let your list run all the way through trim these to root remove duplicates export the list I'm going to name it wiki check head back on over to GSA go to options again advanced tools this time we are going to import URLs identify platform and sort in from file load in your wiki checklist and this is going to check our entire list we just got to see if GSA can actually post to it so I'm going to start this up and that is pretty much it you can do this for all of the different platforms that GSA can post into just follow the same steps just use the different footprints and from this list it looks like we are going to get close to 200 identified and these identified are ones that GSA knows for a fact they can post to the unknown well GSA doesn't know what it is so it does not know how to post to it this will automatically sort them in of course you can check PR first on Scrapebox if you wanted to uh, if you want to get PR 1 to 10 instead of getting NAs and zeros depending on your link building strategy but that's pretty much it uh, if you want more GSA resources and Scrapebox resources, head on over to scrapehog.com. We just started up a weekly mailing list. We will send out weekly emails of identified lists for GSA Search Engine Ranker and auto-approved lists for Scrapebox. So thanks for watching, guys.